Okay, right here we have a mid uh, Android operating system 2.2. It's a 7 inch uh, touch screen tablet PC. Okay. Out the box. Uh, it's covering uh, cover the LCD panel. You see right here. Um, here you have the home menu button, uh, return, back, several functions. At the top you have the on button. Have a front face camera an LCD indicator letting you know that the um, device is on it turns green when it's on and it's red when it's charging and back and it cuts off as soon as uh, it's done charging okay on the bottom you have two speakers you have a TIFT um, slash um, micro SD card slot this particular unit comes pre-installed with two gigabytes of space on the hard drive but you can um, expand that with an SD card and it'll hold up to about 32 gigabytes total uh... here is the um, expansion um, slot for uh... putting in USB extra USB ports and um, your RJ45 Ethernet jacks for um, internet access um, wired internet access. Um, here you have your earphone um, port and you have your um, DC jack for your um, power adapter. Okay. Also in the box you have your manual which has some uh, basics in it. For people that aren't used to the um, Android operating system You have your uh, dual USB um, connection piece which um, connects into the expansion area and your Ethernet um, jack also is on the end of this for this expansion slot. You have your power adapter, comes in the box as well. Earphones, uh, stylus. Okay. Turn it on. Okay, when it first comes on, you see Aldo, uh, the Google mascot. Google Android operating system mascot. He's doing his little thing. It uh it it loads fairly quickly um as far as I can say for devices. Um it comes pre-installed um with um a good sufficient amount of RAM. Um it's lightweight operating system so it doesn't really require much um which you'll see uh, moves very fluidly but it comes on fairly quickly okay alright um your home screen here um you actually have five five screens at the beginning uh, along with your home screen you have well four other additional screens that you can put your favorites on um, just like on a PC or any other computer you can can save um, quick links to wherever you're trying to get to or what you use the most okay down here in the corner uh, this will take you to all of the apps that are installed on here um, you have 
your two different browsers one here and another one also uh, one nice thing that is pre-installed with this documents to go and that's like uh, Android operating systems you would say version of uh, Microsoft Office but it's also backwards compatible which allows you to use Microsoft Office um, documents edit them and save them in that same format and you can re-put them back on uh, Windows machine or whatever machine that has Microsoft Office on it. Uh, you have Angry Birds pre-installed here. You have uh, Kindle's app calculator. Um, you have an email um, client app which allows you to sync um, the tablet to your whatever email um, client you're using. Um, Google, Yahoo. So with mine, I can as long as I have an uh, internet connection, I can get. Um, my emails instantly um, when I'm out on the go. Um, you have iReader which will allow you to read um, your PDF books and different other um, reading material. You have Facebook, Calendar, you have Skype, YouTube, Twitter, and here you have your uh, Wi-Fi settings which I'm going to go into really quickly um, here I have um, an HTC sensation um, but you can do this with most phones turn them into a Wi-Fi uh, hotspot and um, with my particular phone I can host up to five different uh, machines on my one internet connection uh, Wi-Fi hotspot uh, when it's enabled and um, usually what I do with my tablet is um, I turn this on and then I um, search for um, my device with this and here it's already connected because it remembers it uh, the name of it and the name of my device is common sense and it connects fairly quickly actually when we first turned it on it connected and you can see here this icon lets you know that it's connected Okay very very handy if you're out and you need to send an email real quick or you know in my case sometimes um, as a college student um, you may have a paper that you need to send off and uh, you can just do that and, and get it off to your teacher or whatever you need to do okay while we're on that subject um, I'll click on the browser and show you how how fast it loads up as I was saying earlier, um, this device moves very fluidly. Like, uh, see there, Google. Okay, and when you need to type something, uh, you just click on whatever the text spaced is, and when the when the uh, blinker starts blinking for text, um, the screen will pop up, and you can use the pad. See instantly as I tap it keys are coming up and it's um, functioning very well okay go back out another thing too you have on here is your um, file browser so that if you have an SD card in here or just the files that um, with the two um, gigabytes of space that come with it um, you can click on this and it has some stuff preloaded on him when you first turn it on. Um, uh, here's an example of uh, what video would look like on here. Um, it's somewhere in between 720p and 1080p, which is very clear. Um, people that have uh, flat screen TVs, that's kind of the thing now, having that 1080p. Okay. Then at the top, you actually have your volume. And has really good sound for the speakers. Turn it up, you see. And pretty clear, huh? <laughs> okay. Um, have your music player as well. I'm click on that. Um, that's how it kind of comes up. It's just a little sound, you know, some music. 
That's preloaded. <laughs> yeah, some Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson fans out there. Alright. Alright. Um, also, you have 3G setting um, app here. Uh, this allows you to sync your phone uh, to this device because there is a speaker port here, I mean, which is used for, you know, the Skype or, you know, um, any type of uh, video interface um, thing where you want to speak over the internet. Um, but also, you can sync this to your phone and um, get calls with it. It's just a really nice feature <laughs> if you're in a car somewhere or something like that, but I'm uh, not advocating that. Um, but this is very fluid, really good device. Um, I would say people that are always on the go, this would be something that's great for you. Um, here I'll show you the camera. Um, the camera is like super, super clear pictures. Like uh, you can see the. How it's really clear. It takes that's the back of the room here. But if you took a picture, that's how it would look. So really good camera. Okay. And it um, as you rotate it, the screen will uh, it has G sensor um, and it responds very quickly as well. Like as you can see. Okay. Um, one of the nice things that was um, made for this was a um, keyboard um, leather case um, that you can put this up to if you don't really like uh, using the touch screen so much because um, everybody doesn't like that. Um, I actually have one right here that I'll show to you uh, how it is. It's really nice, very stylish, something that you could take to a meeting or take somewhere and um, it looks really nice go with whatever you have on. I um, mean these come in uh, all different colors red, white, brown, um, whatever color you need. On the back this right here allows for it to kind of stand up and you open it here. No button, it's um, all magnet snap so um, that's really good. Okay, You can take your tablet And it will snap into place. You can pop it up. USB port. Um, you can also get these um, wireless if you would like that too. But this one's you know pretty nice, so it's like that. Um, this case also comes with the stylus, and uh, if you can see right here, you have a um, caps lock, number lock, and you also have. Um, a function that allows you to know that the keyboard is properly synced to um, the tablet so that you can um, that so you can use it <laughs> here I'm going to the browser and go back to Google and the keyboard um, functionality with this is great because it it just responds so well we'll go back to uh, here while I was typing in the search Okay. Okay. As you can see, it functions very well. It's moving very well. Very quick response. So uh, yeah, this is this is a really great thing to uh, have. Um, in addition to it, um, if you just want that nice clean look, or you don't feel like uh, pressing the screen all the time and don't want to, you know, 
press on the screen. Um, the battery life on these are really good. Um, I would say you can probably um, max, you can probably get about five to six hours um, out of your device, depending on uh, how many apps you're running in the background and things like that. So, uh, but that's with any device, um, with your phone or anything. Um, you have to watch uh, the device and how many apps you have running because that kind of kills the battery. Um, like I said, great device. I love mine. I use it for a lot of things. I keep it with me. Um, so it's definitely something you should check out.